the dolphin. So, just like our forearm plank, but we walk the feet in, shrug the shoulders up towards the ears, eye gaze towards the toes. Super important to wrap the rib cage in. Maybe a soft bend in your knees if your hamstrings are a little tight but the emphasis is on the shrug. So Georgie, real quick, go back to your plank. So what we're plank. doing from the forearm plank position, we're looking for this imaginary line of muscular engagement, it's not imaginary, your muscles are on fire, from the crown of her head all the way to the heel. Then she's gonna lift her hips, and now the line is from the elbows to the hips that we're focusing on. So you're going on your tippy toes and trying to activate your back to make that long line push and engage all this upper back right here, which is how to access your forearm stand. That's a great way to do it. So if you're keeping mindful of those lines and those angles and how to push away, it'll make this position easier. And it optimizes your position as well because then you're in a great position to just get right up into a forearm stand as well. All right, so let's do it. Forearm plank. Set up with your plank first and then you'll tiptoe, lift your hips, walk it forward. Finding that dolphin, shrug your shoulders up towards your ears. Good, keep that shrug. Bring your elbows a little closer together. Yeah, good, good, good. Yep, shrug, shrug, shrug. Your scap should be on fire and you should be like, I don't wanna do this right now. <laughs> Spread you, your fingertips and your hands are your feet right now. So really grip the ground with your fingertips. Find that bit. straight line. Yeah, shrug up, shrug good, and rest. Yeah, it's really hard. Good work. <laughs> we'll cover both headstand and forearm stand. So I like to teach them essentially the same way. So whenever I teach forearm stands, I really encourage people to keep your hands apart on the ground rather than bringing the hands together or interlacing the fingers for two reasons. One, keeping the hands apart is gonna to help to open up our shoulders and our shoulder mobility. And everything that we do in life, driving, eating, texting, is all forward. So if we can open up a little bit, that's great. That hand position is an indicator of where your shoulders are. If I'm here, I'm nice and square, the hands like to cave in because our body starts to collapse looking for some more structure. So keep in mind that once your hands start coming in, it's probably because you're getting fatigued. But it's, it's not wrong yeah. per se, but being here is perfectly aligned. It's ideal. So if we're working towards ideal and then we get like halfway there, that's cool too. That's perfect. Yes. Usually in my inversion, I get somewhere to like there. <laughs> and for some is... reason, one side's a little different than the other yeah. side. But that's okay. We're just looking for that ideal position. So a sa same for our um, headstands as well. We'll try to keep the hands down, 